We on? Okay. Hey, happy travelers. This is Kelly from the Awkward Tourist. For those of you who don't know, I am a flight attendant for a major US airline. I've been flying for over six years now, and when I work, I bring my suitcase, my food bag, and my tote bag. Now, like I said, I've been flying for six years. I have not cleaned this out the entire time I've been working. So I thought you guys might want to get in on that with me and see what exactly is in here because you'll be as surprised as I am. Now, if I lost my food bag and I lost my suitcase, it would definitely suck, but if I lost this tote bag, I literally would not be able to work anymore because this has everything I need to be a flight attendant. All right. Have my IDs. Definitely cannot fly without these. Got my crew ID, known crew member so I can get through my crew member security and my LAX parking badge. Very important. I have my flight attendant tablet. It's actually a phone, but uh, we have all of our pertinent flight attendant information, our manual, all kinds of nifty flight attendant things on here, and our credit card reader for when you all buy food and bev on the airplane. Whoops. What else do I have in here? Passport. Have to fly with this on every trip, even if it's domestic, because you never know when you'll be rerouted. <laughs> uh, this is embarrassing, but this is my iPod. Yes, I'm old and I still travel with an iPod. Oh, shoot. Starbucks gift card. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Thank you for being here today. Oh, you're welcome, Mike Barnes. Hey, pro tip. Bring your flight attendants little gifts. They freaking love it. What else do I have in here? Trash. <laughs> this is my little makeup pouch basically filled with lipstick. Always have to have your lipstick as a flight attendant. More trash, oh my goodness. There's a lot of trash in here. Ooh. Can you give me a trash can? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Put this down here. It's a good thing I'm cleaning this out today. So I've been squirreling away a lot of these sanitary wipes lately because they've been really helpful with certain pandemics and lots of uh, latex gloves. Just trying to be safe. Got some uh, lady supplies in here for sure. Lots of pens. I guarantee you I have about 60 of these in this tote bag. Airline branded nail file. <laughs> car charger for the car. Just in case I run a car somewhere on a layover, I have these stashed in probably every one of my travel bags, just in case. All right, I think that does it for the front pocket. Let's go for these little side pockets here. This is one of my most used pocket. Hair tie, chapstick, hair clippy thing. And this side. Another hair clippy thing. Haha. -ha. I guess I have a lot of these. And nail clippers. I have a lot of these too, because you never know when you're gonna break your nail on one of those beverage carts. Okay, let's get into the big section here. Now, uh, I stick a lot of magazines in my bag, but I don't actually read a lot of magazines. Whoa, I don't know what that was. As evidenced by, this is from Thanksgiving. It's May, it's a little outdated. I read Real Simple, Shape, and Condé Nast Traveler, Reader's Choice 2019. <laughs> Promise I'm gonna read it. Um, I, it's Christmas headband, just in case. I want to be festive. Uh, lots of credit card applications because they like us to try to sell their credit cards. Gosh, where am I gonna put all these? Oh, okay. What else? More trash. 
gum. I always have gum in all of my bags. I need it. What else? Another chapstick. Always need chapstick. That would be one of the things I would take with me on a deserted island. It would be chapstick. More trash. More gum. Free samples from magazines that I always tell myself I'm going to use. I don't ever use them. I'm still going to keep it in here though. Fitbit charger goes on my Fitbit. This is my cords pouch right here. What else? This is for my flight attendant tablet, USB. This is where I put my phone charger as well. More sanitary wipes because you can't have enough of those. Pen number three. I put a lot of these things in my bag too, the USB wall thingies, just because you can never have enough of those. Um, this is a phone slash brick charger, which I usually have my brick in here too, my external phone charger, but I'm using it to power the ring light right now, so that would be in here. More trash. Oh. On airplanes, your hands get really, really dry because the soap sucks. So I have these little, they look like candies, but do not eat these. They're for your hands. So you like squish them up and it makes a nice scrub for your hands. Very nice. Secret flight attendant keys. I'm not gonna tell you what these are for. Secret. Extra pair of crappy headphones. Pro tip, bring your own headphones on the plane because these freaking suck. You don't want the free headphones on the plane. Don't do it. I constantly am forgetting my wallet, so I always stash a credit card in my bag. <laughs> it's come in handy a lot of times, trust me. And if you want the Marriott Bonvoy card, hey. What is this? little package of receipts because we don't actually give out receipts on the airplane so I can write one out for you even though I tell you I can't. Okay, let's go for the back pocket. Um, this is old, so I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> A flight attendant gave me this little shoe bag. I have my in-flight shoes in here. We have our terminal shoes and our in-flight shoes. We're supposed to wear heels in the terminal and I do more comfortable toms on the plane. Looks like I need to replace these. Uh, lots of gloves because coronavirus <laughs> and more sanitary wipes um, deodorant just in case I have a lot of just in case stuff in my tote bag like I said if I lost my suitcase I'd be fine but if I ever lost this I'd be really screwed um, let's see. I have my uniform sweater in here because I always get cold on the plane Probably needs to be washed. I have a lot of these gloves. Yeah. We use these to pick up trash with too. It's not just because of coronavirus. This is my little apron for when I'm serving you Diet Coke. Please don't order Diet Coke on the plane. The reason flight attendants don't like Diet Coke is because for some reason, it takes four years for the fizz to go down on the cup. So it just, it, we don't have time for that. We'll probably give you the whole can if you order Diet Coke, just because we don't have time for the fizz to go down. All right, getting into some flight attendant specific stuff here. This is for medical emergency. This is my pocket mask. So we are CPR certified. So if you need CPR, I will be using this little baby. Always have to have that. We have extras on the plane, just in case. And, oh man, this is so dirty. It's a little gross. We don't actually have to carry this, but I got it when I first got trained. This is called restraint tape. It's kind of like duct tape. It's very, it was very sticky on the ends, but now it's very dirty. But um, it's kind of like duct tape. So if you misbehave, we will literally tape you to the seat. So you won't. <laughs> so don't misbehave on an airplane, please. 
lots more headphones because you can't walk through the aisle without someone asking for headphones, surprisingly. And I still have my original flex cuffs. These are kind of like plastic handcuffs. So please behave on a plane because we have a lot of things that we can restrain you with if we have to do so. That's the last resort, but we have lots of ways to do it. Now I have my little toiletry pouch here. So I have hairbrush, what else? I am obsessed with sunscreen. I always have sunscreen. Hand sanitizer. This is ibuprofen. Hand cream, because like I said, your hands get totally destroyed. Your skin gets so dry. I don't know why I have two ibuprofens in here. One, one of these must be for my purse. More lotion for the hands, so much of that. Nasal spray, because my nasal cavities get really dry too. I just get congested and ugh. And again, with the dryness, eye drops. So nasal spray and eye drops are weird things that probably not a lot of people carry, but they just make me so much more comfortable when I'm flying so much because the air is so dry. And more lotion. And more gum. I have a lot of gum. I should put it all together. And uh, a Tic Tac container that's got bobby pins in it. And for the last back pocket, this is where all my pens are. One, two, three, four, five, six pens add it to my collection. Here is where I put all of my coupons and things that I say that I'm going to use and I never actually do. Discount coupon codes, coupons for airport food, business cards that people have given me over the years, free coffee. Hey, lots of free coffee. And this is where I keep all my unaccompanied minor papers. So when I hand off unaccompanied minors to agents, I have to sign and take one of the little papers and we're supposed to uh, keep these for 90 days. So I just stick it in my bag and usually it's like three years later, I'll be like, oh, I guess I can throw that away now. <laughs> a bunch of them. And a Band-Aid. Oh no, it's an Icy Hot. Oh, and a tiny Tabasco. Oh, it looks really gross. I wonder how long that's been in there. More pens. Oh, this one's broken. <laughs> cool. Good thing I cleaned this out. And there you have it. That is all the crap that I have in my flight attendant tote bag. It's probably a good thing that I cleaned it out after six years. And honestly, I probably need another one because the wire is coming through at the bottom. <laughs> Maybe for summer, I'll buy myself a new one of these. So thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you have any other flight attendant questions or ideas for flight attendant videos, things that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. And as always, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to see more travel and flight attendant related videos. This is the Awkward Tourist. Peace out.